<laughs> well, a Coors Field game broke out at Drew's Park tonight. The Braves fall short in the Slugfest 12-10. And I'm not going to go inning by inning on this because that would take like an hour or longer because, jeez, my head was spinning with all the action tonight. But good news, the offense is great. Uh, four homers, Matt Statue, seven night, two homers, uh, five RBIs. Uh, we came back from a 4 nothing deficit uh, to take the lead 5-4 in the third after Matt's first homer. Um, and Ozuna got us on the board with a two-run blast um, in the second. But Spencer Schreider did not have it tonight. I don't know if it was the overexertion of the 106-pitch outing against the Nationals and 11 strikeouts, the heat, or just... He didn't have it um, because he was missing his spots and the Giants were taking advantage. It doesn't matter how hard you throw. Um, if you miss your spots, you're going to get hurt, and Spencer did that tonight. Austin Wins was the ultimate pest for the Giants. Out of the nine hole, had four RBIs, and the Giants had the soft contact, devil magic working. They had six base hits under 70 miles an hour or less. Um, they all count, so I'm giving them credit because they were all with, like, two strikes, two outs. Very, very, very annoying, but, uh, it is what it is. We took the lead, um, uh, 5-4 on Matt's homer, and then Austin wins two RBI double. Gave the Giants the lead again. Brandon Crawford, uh, left the game after tying the score 5-5 on a sack fly with a um, turned ankle. So we'll see what happens for them there. Uh, but we took the lead right back. A two-out hit by pitch by Michael Harris. And then a two-run Hank Darren Terrace blast by Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. kind of back on track tonight. Three hits. Um, a little bit more chasey and anxious than we're used to seeing him. But I think he's turning a corner, so that is good. It was 7-6 Braves, and um, the sixth inning told the tale. We got two quick outs. Dylan Lee was the only one uh, being able to put up consistent zeros. Um, he got the first out in the sixth, and then Brian Snicker goes righty-righty um, with Darren O'Day, and that backfired. It's thinking the right move because you got righty-righty, and probably because we have 30, 30 games in 31 days, uh, Snickers trying to preserve. And Darren O'Day didn't really pitch bad. Two soft, soft contact singles with two strikes and the walk. And then Colin McHugh comes in against Yaz and gives up uh, a double down the line um, to make it 8-7. Our pitches got behind all night long and had to come to the Giants hitters for the most part. And it just really, really didn't work. So, 8-7 at that point. And then he gave up a, Colin McHugh gave up a solo blast to old friend Jock Peterson on a hanger banger. I was hoping it was too high, but it was flying tonight. So, 9-7. The Braves got gift wrapped a run in the bottom of the seventh with a Bolt single by Ronald Cooney Jr. A walk and a wild pitch got Ronald to third, first and third, two outs and a easy uh, Taylor made ground ball force out and uh, Estrada just did not look the ball into the glove and he dropped it, got a gift wrap run there, 9-8. Um, Travis Sarno out on a chopper. But it was still 9-8. And then Jackson Stevens came in in the 8th. 1-2-3. A very rare occurrence on the night. But uh, wasn't so lucky in the ninth. Uh, lead off walk. And then a, a ground ball to Riley. I don't know why he dove. But then to add insult to injury. He kicked it into the camera well. Second and third. No outs. We walk. Jock Peterson, bases loaded again for the Giants with no outs. He was this close to getting out of it. 
striking out um, La Stella. He struck out two. I can't remember who they were. But then Wilmer Flores, who came in for Brandon Crawford after the ankle injury, uh, smoked one down the line for a two-run double. And then, sure enough, in the bottom of the ninth, a single by Dansby Swanson, a two-run homer chop shot by Matt Olson, and then a fly out by or pop out by Travis Darno and a strikeout by Marcelo Zuna. Slam the door. Unfortunately, uh, it was a ugly game for our pitching staff. It was just a clunker and they haven't had many clunkers, so and luckily the Mets are on their way to a loss, so I don't think any blood is going to be drawn in the NLE standings. But the offense is fine. That's good. Maybe maybe Snit overmanaged, but it is what it is. Uh, the pin didn't have it tonight. As always, go Braves champions forever.